everyone, what's going on? Welcome to the channel and thank you for tuning in to this video where today I've got an awesome guest by the name of Samuel joining me for Back to the Fans episode 16. Yeah, crazy to think that we're on 16 episodes so far and there's plenty more in the works so keep an eye out for those. But Samuel is joining me today and I have actually met Samuel in person i've met him a couple of times at back to the future the musical more specifically and he's such an awesome guy and reached out to me and wanted to be part of back to the fans so of course i said yes immediately as i've been wanting to get him on to an episode so without further ado and without wasting your time let's find out from samuel when was the first time he watched back to the future and what made him really connect with the movie the first time i ever saw back to the future was um when i was about seven year old um on Christmas Day, I think we just bought the DVD because I really wanted it. I watched it as a family. I mean, my parents, I mean, <laughs> they think I'm a bit obsessed. I've watched it every single week, the whole entire trilogy. I mean, it's usually on a Monday. I watch Back to the Future 1 because it's Mondays is Mondays, isn't it? Um, but then throughout the week, I mean, I watch every single one of them. I mean, and then it all starts over again the next week, so I mean, I probably know the um, the whole entire film backwards, forwards, upside down. I mean, I could watch that film with that with my eyes shut, and I could tell you exactly where we were all in the film. What allows me to like get with it is that knowing Matt is a a kid that thinks he's got no future, and he's got a, a lovely family in Nan. 1985 and he gets travelled back into 1955 and I'd love to meet my family members that are no longer here with us. Time travel's not real so, well it could be but we're not there yet. One thing I always love about doing these episodes and about finding out that question about the first ever experience of Back to the Future and kind of like what connects people to it. Samuel referenced to you that he was seven years old when he watched this. He watches a trilogy every week which man that is some commitment and also i think you're the person who i now know to have seen back to the future the most times ever and especially the trilogy dude like every week that is nuts i watched it maybe every couple of months maybe even longer than that but i also respect the fact that what you kind of help connect to you about the movie is that more kind of time travels and you would love to be able to time travel and see your loved ones who are no longer here and i think we can all relate to that as well because we all have a loved one or multiple loved ones or even pets for example who we would love to see again or spend even just one more day with or one hour with so going into the second question in back to the fans one thing i've noticed from samuel is when i've met him he loves cosplay he is fantastic at it and he also dons a cosplay that i've not really seen many people do before or not as many as kind of like the traditional one which is still awesome so to get a little bit more information from samuel my man, what got you in to cosplay? Well, I got into cosplay when we went. I went to see Back to the Future the musical for the first ever time. At the moment, I'm, I've got a, a little bit of a Back to the Future the musical one in the works. Um, I'm really looking forward to. The materials are not that hard to get when you know where to look. <laughs> and st and uh, places um, like just eBay and Amazon and stuff like that. It's it's super easy to find these sort of stuff. It can be very difficult to find the the stuff like the the little tiny nicks and nicks um, for for example for George McFly's no, little is it a spender sort of thing for example um, for Gremlins the the Gremlins notebook I and mean, people like um, Back to the Future DD uh, sixty nine has had to literally make their own. And he does an amazing co uh, cosplay. In fact, uh, in Sylvester, I mean, and all them sort of people do an amazing cosplay for it. I mean, and it's just amazing to see people that love the film so much allow us to have a great time at these sort of events. Extremely 
cool, man, that you got into cosplay by seeing the musical for the first ever time. You tried out something a little bit different. And you said you got, like, the materials of, like, eBay and Amazon and stuff, which I think is also kind of inspiring because a lot of people, even myself at some point, I want to be doing cosplay like that for Back to the Future. So I think it's really cool that that stuff is kind of obtainable and maybe not as expensive because I do know that some cosplayers are crazy expensive. Samuel did reference uh, Sylvester, but there's also a couple of other guys I know, like Charlie, there's also Pete as well, uh, there's Kayla, there's so many people that I've met in the Back to the Future community that do cosplay, Jason, like another one for example, those guys really epitome the cosplay, and they also really do it with such true passion for the franchise, and I can really, really respect that, and I just love the fact that those guys can get together, and they're always requested for pictures as well. That's one thing I've always noticed. So on my channel, you guys all know that I've always kind of promoted the Back to the Future in the musical. I've spoke about this. I've done kind of vlog videos on it. What I want to know from Samuel is, can you tell everyone a little bit about your experience with Back to the Future, the musical? I wanted to see it in, in, in Manchester. And Manchester was really close to me. Like, it's about an hour away in a car. And I really wanted to go, and I waited, and then right when I mean, it hit London, I'm like, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. If you haven't seen the, the musical yet, you have to see the musical, because the musical is the greatest thing, and it brings, yes, there is some weird differences, and I like how they've changed it, so it's not just an exact copy, but I'm not going to tell you what it is, but they do bring some of the stuff from the, the film to the show. Yeah, everyone knows the ending. Everyone knows what's what happens, and they 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 make that into a, an amazing scene. And it's and it's it's weird to see that we can we can talk to Doc and Marty and George McFly and George McFly. Fucking like, you know, hell, he does an amazing job. Knowing the guy that acts for knowing George McFly, he does the best job I've ever met. Like knowing. He's a great person in real life. I've met him on um, two occasions now, and he's an amazing person. If you haven't gone seen it, and you need to go see it, because if you're a big fan like me, or if you if you just want a, a night out in London, or uh, if you're trying to kill some time, I mean. Go see Back to the Future the musical. The uh, George McFly actor he references is Hugh Coles. And Hugh Coles is awesome. I too have met him in person. I think same as you, Samuel. Maybe twice, three times. I can't quite remember. But I will leave the link down below if you do want to go check out the musical and go get tickets for yourself because Samuel and I highly, highly recommend it. And the last question I want to leave Samuel with is what is your favourite piece of memorabilia that you currently own? My favourite, probably my favourite a piece of memorabilia is probably I, I bought quite a lot of stuff from um super collector over the years and i've literally got pretty much every single cast member that you can i mean autographs but um i'm wanting them all on a poster i mean bless her heart but i've even got the clock tower lady like exactly when that's probably my favorite ever piece because i literally went online about Two hours after she uh, passed away, and they were su uh, like stupidly cheap. Just like bought one. And I'm, I'm not, I'm not all in for it, the money. I don't care. But it's it's better in our pockets than the the scalpers, isn't it? I like the memorabilia that's coming out over the years. And the the stuff that um, they're coming going out with. Uh, and I love the new mugs from the Back to the Future the musical. I love um, the the new DeLorean. Actually, um, I've just <laughs> I've just finished building that. Now that is one thing I don't own is Elsa Raven's autograph. Of course, rest in peace to Elsa Raven, who of course plays the Clock Tower Lady in the first Back to the Future movie. Yeah, so cool that you managed to get that autograph, dude, and so cool that you managed to obtain that and especially as you mentioned like not long after she passed away they had the old grass for sale and you are right there's obviously a lot of people out there like scalpers who just you know buy in bulk and stuff and then try to sell them on for stupid amounts of money etc so yeah definitely like fans like us we're wanting like autographs like that to be able to just keep in our collection to be like oh look we've got 
X autograph. Really, really cool about that memorabilia. And of course, the Lego DeLorean is awesome. Recently came out. I did an unboxing video on my channel. I also did a speed build as well for if you missed those. Um, those are just on the channel. But I also want to take the time to thank Samuel for taking his time for doing this episode of Back to the Fans. And I hope you all really enjoyed it. And yet again, talking to another big Back to the Future fan and learn about their love and passion for the franchise and that is always an incredible experience but what i want to ask you guys who are tuned into this right now is would you like to be part of back to the fans whether this be a pre-recorded video whether it be a live stream or an audio only leave any and all comments down below and also in the description box is the link to my social medias if you want to get in touch and by all means we can have a look to work something out i'm always open to anyone and having a discussion with anyone of back to the fans but in the meantime please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and until the next time that i see you i'll be seeing you later